Um, in a, in a study of speed dating conducted at Columbia University, male subjects were asked to rate the attractiveness of their female dates. And a sample of the results is listed below. That is hilarious. I mean, the author of this book got real information. It's funny that they did this at Columbia. I don't even know what it's for. Regardless, construct a 95%, where's my pen? Let's construct a 95% confidence interval estimate. Oops. 95%. CI of the standard deviation of the population for sigma, where sigma represents, I'm not going to copy this down, standard deviation of the population from which the sample was obtained. This is my sample. This time I'm not given the sample mean. I'm not given the sample standard deviation. And I need that, right, to find my um, confidence interval for sigma. So this is going to take us back to, like I said, chapter 3 in your book. Um, Finding a sample, a sample standard deviation in the mean for a sample. Um, well, let's first input this step. So let's go to stat. Okay, right, stat edit. And I'm going to put it in L1. You can put it in any list. I'm just going to stay consistent with L1. But, I, you know, because I, I want to show you again how to delete the numbers if you want to delete the numbers in a list. You're going to scroll up so that L1 is highlighted and you're going to press clear. Enter. Do not press delete. Stay away from this button. Stay away because it will delete the whole thing. So let's put these numbers in. I got so, seven. Enter. Eight. Enter. Two. Enter. Ten. Oops, somebody. Six. Five. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine, five, nine. So just to verify, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I should have twelve numbers here, which I do think the next one would be the thirteen. So I put them in L1, stat edit, and now I'm going to go back to my stat over to calc. One bar stats if I really just want. Mean and standard deviations, which are, which is what I'm going to need here. L1 and list. You need that blank. Calculate. If I want my sample mean, it is 7. My sample standard deviation is 2.2156. All right, so let's go back to here. And we're going to input. So I know now my sample mean, which is x bar. If I need it, you know, I don't need it for a formula, but I'll write it down anyway because you might need it for other things later on. X bar is 7. Sample standard deviation is 2.2156. Um, and then, you know, n is 12. I write that down just to verify it's the same as what I should have. Okay, um, so I have now this information so that I could plug into this formula, but I also need my critical values. So let's do that next. I am given a 95% CI, so alpha is 1 minus 0.95, which is 0 0.05. I feel like we did this already, probably twice. Cut in half, 0 0.025. Um, degrees of freedom is N minus 1, 1 less than my sample size, so in this case, 11. I'll draw my curve again for you guys. It's skewed to the right. My right tailed chi squared critical value is over here with an area in the right tail of 0 0.025. My left tailed chi squared critical value is this you know, critical value with this area in the left tail. If an area to the left of this value is 0 0.025, then the area to the right is 1 minus that, 0 0.975. So I'm just gathering all the information I need to go straight to my, and again, you can see repetition already, I am assuming. Um, so sometimes you can kind of skip actually drawing the curve and all that because you know what's going to happen. But I'm showing my work. So let's do my right, my right tail chi squared critical value, which is, has an area of 0 0.025 in the right tail and 11 degrees of freedom. So area to the right is 0 0.025, um, 11 degrees of freedom, line it up. Third column from the um, from the right. Uh, what was it? Eleven degrees of freedom. Twenty one point nine two zero. Twenty one point nine two zero for my right tail 
pi squared fifth of i. So let me write that down. Pi squared r is 21.920. Pi squared left has an area of 0.975. Third from the left with the degrees of freedom of 11 again, 3.816. 3.816. Let me write that down. Approximately 3.816. Um, so let's go ahead and now find my confidence interval. Out of everything I need. Sigma is less than and greater than the square root of stuff. The square root of n minus 1 times s squared in the numerator. n minus 1 is always. n minus 1 is always technically the degrees of freedom, so 11. 11 times s squared. s was 2.2156. 2.2156 squared. This numerator is the same as that one. 11 times 2.2156 squared. Divided by this right-tailed critical value goes in the left and vice versa. So 21.920. You go here, 21.920. And my left tail critical value, 3.816, should go here, right? The larger denominator should be in the, on the left side, and the, the, the smaller denominator should be on the right side. Sometimes I don't even write that down because you could straight up just plug it into your calculator. I'm showing all my work for you guys. I like doing the numerator first. 11 times 2.2156 squared. 11 times... 2.2156 squared is the numerator for both of them, so I'll have that value there. Now divide that, we'll go to the right side first. 3.816 divided by 3.816. We square root that. And I get 3.7, 3 3.8, 3 we'll say. On the right side, 3.8. And on my left side, this number, 53.997711, whatever, 69, the whole thing. Divide that by 21.920. And then take the square root of that. 1.5, you can so this is my um, confidence interval for this population standard deviation. And we say we are, 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 we are 95% confident that the true value of, I forgot, of what? All right, let me go back to the problem. Oh, this whole thing is right here. Of the standard deviation of the population from which the sample was obtained. Of the standard deviation, I might pull some more from that problem, but of the Standard deviation from which the population was obtained. And you know, this represented rates of attractiveness of females. So I might say the true value of the standard deviation of rates of attractiveness from females. Oops. Was, is between. 1.6, no units, because it's a rating, and that's all she wrote. Very like a piece of cutting that very kind of it, it's over and over again. I probably have said this, I don't know how many times. 